Hi guys, it's Kath. Today we're going to make some super cute miniature typewriters. I'm mainly using jumbo popsicle sticks and toothpicks for this project, so no complicated supplies needed. As usual, this is a 1 to 12 scale standard dollhouse size. Let's get started. The first thing I do is grab some jumbo popsicle sticks. Take one and split it in half. To do that, score it on both sides with your craft knife and snap the wood. Glue these two pieces together to create a panel. Once that's dry, draw a line at the one and a quarter inch mark. Cut that out. That will give you a one and a half by one and a quarter inch rectangle. This will be the base of your typewriter. Then grab another jumbo popsicle stick. Draw a vertical line at one end. And another vertical line one and a quarter inches away from the first line. Then draw a horizontal line half an inch from the bottom. Half an inch away from the vertical line on the right, draw a slanted line towards the bottom left. Then from the bottom left corner, draw another line that slopes upward and meets it. This kind of looks like a foot. At the top right corner, add a curved line. Now let's cut this out. Again, just cutting it with my knife on the lines we drew and then snapping the pieces off. File it to smooth out any rough edges. For the curved area, I just wrap some sandpaper around a skewer and run it against the wood. Make two of these. Alright, let's put these pieces together. With some wood glue, attach the two pieces to the short sides of the base. As you can see, these two pieces create the sides of the typewriter. Then cut out a 1.4 inch piece of popsicle stick. Slide it between the two side panels to make sure it fits. Mark it at the height you need. It should be the same height as the side pieces. Draw a straight line at that mark and cut it out. Don't throw away the small piece. We'll be using that too. Add glue to the sides and back. Then slide it into place. On the smaller piece, draw a trapezoid shape in the middle. It's basically just a triangle with a flat top. Cut that out. Glue it to the top of the typewriter. Now I'm going to paint some areas that are much easier to reach now than after all the pieces are assembled. With some black acrylic paint, I paint the inside of the back area. I also add the black paint to the keyboard area. Next, cut out another 1.4 inch piece. Split it in half. Take one piece and glue it to the back of the typewriter between the two side panels. This closes up the typewriter. Cut out a 1 and a quarter inch piece. Split that in half and add one to the top half of the back piece. Alright, let's close up the front. I grab a coffee stirrer and cut off a one and a half inch section. Glue that to the front. You can also use a popsicle stick for this if you don't have wooden coffee stirrers. Now let's paint the typewriter. You can use any color you want, but I'm going with the classic red here. Add it everywhere you have bare wood showing, including the front, the back, the sides, and the bottom. I added about two coats of this acrylic paint for a nice even look. To make the keys of the keyboard, I take a toothpick and paint it black. Make a bunch of these. Then cut out about 15 quarter inch pieces. Just score it with your knife and break the pieces off. Glue them to the keyboard area with some wood glue. Just place them in a row with a little space in between each one. Once you have the first two rows in, grab a coffee stirrer and cut off a 3 4 inch piece. Cut off about a third of it so you have a thin little space bar. Add a super small piece of wood to the middle for height. We're going to add it to the front center area of the keyboard. But before we do that, let's paint the bottom black. Now glue it in. To finish the keyboard, cut out about 15 more toothpick pieces. These should be a tiny bit shorter than the quarter inch pieces in the first two rows. I dab on some white acrylic paint to the tops of the keys. Paint the space bar white as well. And look at all these beautiful colors. Okay, now let's add on a coat of polyacrylic for a nice glossy finish. So this next step is completely optional and reserved for people who have way too much time on their hands. Like me. Type numbers 0 through 9 and the entire alphabet into a word document. Shrink it down to font size 4. Print that out. And cut out all the letters. This is so ridiculously tiny. Just add some glue to the tops of the keys and add the letters on. Don't worry about accuracy here, no one's actually typing anything with this typewriter. Then add a droplet of varnish to the top of each key. This will create a nice glossy dome look. Super cute. Okay, we're almost at the end guys. With a skewer, cut off a 1 and 3 fourths inch piece. Smooth out the ends and paint it black. While that dries, write or print down some tiny text. Cut it out. Ideally, the paper should be a 1 and a half by 1 and a quarter inch rectangle. Position the paper upside down on top of the typewriter. Then push the skewer down at the back. Fold the paper back, and you're done! How cute is that? This little pink one is absolutely perfect for Valentine's Day. 
I had so much fun making this little rainbow of mini typewriters. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you decide to recreate it, snap a picture and send it to me on Instagram. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and I'll see you next time. Bye!